Hey guys, it's Dave here from Creative Path Films, and in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you six essential pieces of gripping equipment that we find ourselves using on a daily basis. Over the course of our career in the film and video industry, we've come across and used a wide variety of different pieces of gripping equipment, and we've developed quite a collection ourselves. And I thought it would be a cool idea to share with you guys the essential kit, the pieces that we find ourselves using the most when creating different rigs and mounting various pieces of equipment. Most of these tools you may already be familiar with, but if you're new to the game, I hope this video will provide you with some solid guidance in building out your first gripping kit. My aim here is to recommend gear that is solid, reliable, and versatile. Now, quick disclaimer, this video is designed with solo operators in mind, and I am not a professional grip. I have day played in the gripping department, but as you can see, I'm clearly not built for it. All right, so now that that's out of the way, Let's get into it. Number one, the Super Visor Clamp. This clamp right here is my favorite piece of gripping equipment that I own. Hands down, no questions asked. This one here is the four inch Super Visor Clamp by Kupo Grip. And it comes in a few different configurations and lengths, with the longest version going up to 17 and a half inches in length. These clamps by Kupo come in three different styles. This one here is the regular Super Visor Clamp, and it comes with two jaws for clamping onto a variety of different objects. It has a hex baby receiver at one one end for mounting a range of different accessories, as well as a baby pin on the end of the arm. This clamp is made of solid steel and is super strong with a maximum payload of 33 kilos or 66 pounds. This clamp here has some really nice rubber pads on the inside of the jaws that helps you to have a really secure hold and also offers some protection onto the surface that you're clamping down on. This jaw is designed to clamp securely onto round, square, and flat objects. These clamps come in a few different styles, including an end jaw design, which forgoes the baby hex receiver, and a mid jaw design, which butts the baby pin right up against one of the jaws, as opposed to on the end of the arm. This guy is absolutely superb to use. It's super solid, it's reliable, and it is definitely the clamp that I find myself reaching for the most out of any piece of gripping equipment. And also, there's just something really satisfying about this. Next up, we have the 2.5 inch grip head. These clamps are some of the most common clamps that you'll come across on any set, and you'll find them most commonly attached to C-stands. Pretty much every manufacturer makes a version of this clamp. You'll find them from Matthews, Avenger, Kupo, and many more. This one here is made by Impact Lighting. They're all designed pretty much the same way with only subtle differences between them, and they can all be used interchangeably. These clamps are designed to mount onto any 5 8 inch baby pin via the 5 8 baby receiver on the base of the clamp. So you can attach these clamps to light stands, C stands, or other gripping equipment, basically anything with a baby pin. The grip head itself has a range of different sized mounting holes, so you can clamp onto a wide variety of different pieces of equipment, such as other baby pins, C-stand arms, nets, scrims, cutters, boom pole holders, and much, much more. You can also use this type of head to clamp down onto the ears of equipment that you use to mount round pipe or square tubing. Most of these clamps will have a range of teeth within the back of the clamp here, and they will bite down onto either aluminium plates or brake pads, providing a very secure hold. When using these clamps, it's also a good idea to make sure that you adhere to the right hand rule so that they tighten under load rather than loosen. Next up, we have the Super Clamp, which is also known as a Convi Clamp or Mafer Clamp. The Super Clamp is a very versatile and incredibly common clamp that you'll find on pretty much any set that you step foot on. These clamps are used to mount pretty much anything. Cameras, lights, background kits, crossbars, and a heap more. You'll often see these used to mount other pieces of equipment onto larger stands, such as C-stands and heavy-duty steel light stands. The clamp has two jaws that you can use to clamp down on both square and round tubing. They also come with a wedge insert that you can use to clamp down onto flat surfaces. 
On the base of the clamp, we have a range of different mounting points, including a quarter 20 thread, two M5 threads, two alignment holes, as well as a hex shaped baby receiver that accepts both round and hex shaped spigots and baby pins. The clamps we have here in the studio are the Super Clamps by Avenger Manfrotto, and they are rock solid. They're made of a lightweight cast aluminium alloy and can support up to 15 kilos or 33 pounds. Next up, we have the small rig articulating arm with dual ball heads. Now, when it comes to small articulating arms or small magic arms, there are a lot of options out there, but I've also come across a lot of duds. This particular model is my favorite lightweight magic arm that I've come across today. You'll most commonly see this style of magic arm used to mount monitors, viewfinders, small on-camera lights, usually to a camera's cage or anything else with a corresponding mounting point. This arm consists of a center section with a really nice locking knob that squeezes down onto two ball heads on either side. The great thing about this particular design is you can actually swap out the different ball heads giving you a range of different mounting options. This one here that I purchased came with the standard quarter 20 mounting screw on both ends, but you can pick up a range of different ball heads, such as the ARRI locating pin, a NATO rail clamp, the larger 3 8 16 screw, a 15 inch rail mount, as well as a couple of others. The other great thing about this design is you can actually combine different clamps together to give you a longer span. Let me show you what I mean. So we have some additional pieces here, including this extension segment. So what we can do is remove that ball head here. We're gonna put that on the end of the chain. We'll add in our extension piece, that second clamp, then our ball head. Now that we've tightened all of that up, you can see we now have a much longer magic arm. And this extension section also has two quarter 20 and a 3 eighth mounting hole as well to give you a few other mounting options. Another really cool thing about this design that I really like is rather than it being metal on metal on these ball heads, they have these rubber washers, which helps to give you a really rock solid and secure hold and helps to prevent slippage, which is probably the thing I hate the most about cheaper magic arms. This articulating arm in its regular configuration has an impressive load capacity of five kilos or 11 pounds, which is fantastic when you consider how small and lightweight it is. Next up, we have the Nano Clamp. This particular Nano Clamp is made by Small Rig, but other manufacturers do make these small clamps as well. Now, most of the manufacturers that make this style of small lightweight clamp would call this a Nano Clamp. But just to be confusing, Small Rig have named their version of this clamp a Super Clamp, not to be confused with this guy here. These are a super handy lightweight clamp that can clamp down very securely onto smaller objects between 15 and 40 millimeters in width. We've definitely put these clamps through their paces. We've used them on boats to clamp down onto railing. We've used them on sets. We've clamped things onto tripods and they're a fantastic and reliable little clamp. Small Rig has made a few different variations of this clamp over the years, and I've seen ones with different mounting points around the clamp, such as an ARRI locating pin. This one that I have in front of me has two different mounting options. We have a quarter 20 screw here, and a 3 8 16 screw. This is a very simple little clamp. It has some nice rubber coatings inside of the jaws to protect whatever it is that you're clamping down onto. And I particularly like the lever on the top here. It's a stainless steel lever, and it allows you to get a really, really secure hold on whatever it is that you're clamping down onto. We have several of these clamps and I've yet to have one fail on me. And as an added bonus, they're also surprisingly affordable. We'll have links and prices for all of the clamps that we've talked about today down in the description. So if you'd like to learn more or pick one up for yourself, you can find out more information down below. These clamps are made from steel and aluminum alloy and they have a maximum payload of 1.5 kilos or 3.3 pounds. So they're not designed for anything heavy. They are, however, perfect for gripping smaller items such as small on-camera LED lights, small monitors, or microphones. The last item that I wanted to share with you today is this umbrella adapter by Manfrotto, and this is the 026 model. Now, if you have a small lightweight LED fixture, such as this one here, the Aperture F7, 
or the Aperture 60D or 60X or any other light that uses a quarter 20 mounting screw, then you pretty much have to use an umbrella or swivel style adapter in order to mount that light to a light stand and adjust the pan and tilt. Now I've used a couple of different versions over the years. Some of them not so great. These ball style ones just have a tendency to just you know, flop over, they don't have a very good secure hold. And these ones here have a locking ratchet, which I'm not a big fan of because it can be difficult to make precise adjustments. But this one here by Manfrotto is by far the best that I've used. Now the adapter comes with two small spigots included. We have one that sits in the top section of the adapter and that's this one here and it has a male quarter 20 and a male 3 8 16 screw on the top so this is what you would attach to the base of your light and it also for the bottom section of the adapter comes with another small spigot this one has a female 3 8 16 and a female quarter 20 so you can actually mount this adapter onto different fixtures and not just a baby pin. You can mount it onto something with a screw base as well by adding that spigot. If you have different spigots that you like to use, say I prefer this larger, slightly stronger style of spigot, then you can very, very easily just remove that and swap that out with ease. So this is the configuration that I like to use this swivel adapter in. Down the bottom here, we have a nice, comfortable, and secure set screw. And that clamps down really nicely with your baby receiver. So moving up the adapter, we have a really nice ratchet handle. And I think this is the reason why I like this particular adapter more than any others that I've used so far. And this ratchet handle allows you to pull it out, readjust it, and then loosen or tighten that down really firmly. It's a really nice design. I really, really like this feature and has an incredibly secure hold. Moving up the adapter, we have a nice large hole here and that is for mounting umbrellas to your adapter. So let's have a look at how that works. So I've got a small umbrella here from Westcott and I'm not gonna open it up because uh, that would be bad luck. Uh, and you can just insert that into the adapter, clamp it down with this small screw here. So when you're tilting the light, and adjusting the angle like so. If you have this the right way around, you've got to make sure that this is on the top, then it will adjust the tilt of the umbrella as well. And your diffuser will move in parallel with your light fixture. And moving up the unit, now we have a steel locking mechanism. Again, this allows you to really get a nice firm hold onto your baby pin or spigot. This unit is incredibly well built and it's surprisingly strong. I've actually mounted a small mirrorless cameras using this unit. It's not what it's designed for, but it can definitely take the weight. It's made of a strong cast aluminium and weighs only 380 grams. Unfortunately, the manufacturer does not list a payload capacity for this umbrella adapter. One final note before we go is I have a feeling you might be curious what this is right here that I've been mounting some of these clamps onto today. And this is a really fun little plate. This is the Platypod Maxi. And it's a metal plate that has a number of different mounting points all around it. And it also comes with this handy detachable baby pin. So I use this for demonstrations or if I need a small uh, floor stand for lights and you can also like strap this around trees and poles and stuff. It's a very useful little unit. And for those that are curious about this and want to learn more, I'll pop a link down in the description as well. So there you have it guys. Those are my six favorite pieces of gripping equipment that I would recommend if you're starting to build out your first grip kit. Links and prices for all of the equipment that we've talked about today will be down in the description. And if you found this video useful, please remember to let me know by leaving it a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to hit subscribe if you'd like to see more videos just like this one. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you in the next video.